Thai lads and the Mexicans. Unfortunately, both teams were eliminated early in the race. Especially because we were right behind them, I could feel the pressure. I never saw them like going fast or worried. So for one second, I really felt a little bit about myself, like putting so much pressure on them. Last week, ICS participated in the annual expat show at the Shanghai Exhibition Center. Since the expats in Shanghai are the main target audience of ICS, China Rush got involved in some live interaction. Contestants joined in the interaction as the main performers of the day. It was good fun, and I appreciate that they had some confidence in me to invite me to do this today. This hosting thing that we did for ICS uh, um, at the expat show is... I was nervous. I was nervous. I was like, oh my god, I've never done this before. As the very first version of The Amazing Race filmed in this amazing country, China Rush is now getting hotter and hotter among the expat community. But there are many overseas viewers watching the show on the internet. Some of them left their comments and sent good wishes to the teams. Two mom shells. Lily said, Good job climbing the dam, Lisa. Rose Chen said, my kids want to cheer you on, we're your fans, go moms, to Rick and Josh. Mikor said, hi, to bad boy, nobody can beat you, man. To Charlie and Rachel, Adrian, OMG, love Charlie and Rachel, hope they can win, they're strong, just hope they won't fight during the race. Though Sean and Amy were eliminated, they still got a lot of votes. John said, let's go team, time to make it rain. Soap said, if anyone can take home China challenges, it's Amy. Keep it, guys. We're rooting for you. From viewers' opinions, we can see that Sean and Amy were actually the favorites. Their physical strength and aggressive competition style made them look potential winners by many people. Now, let's look back into their amazing race and analyze what saw them. Sean and Amy were eliminated on Taishan Mountain, losing the chance to go further. But in scaling the damn wall, Sean's athleticism helped him to overtake Sarah easily in this pure power game. They have a, their own particular dynamic and it works very, very well for them. Sometimes it's a bit more stressful to hear, but they do work very well together ultimately. They're a very, very strong team. Hey, uh, Amy! Sorry. Actually, in the Taiyan leg, Sean and Amy really started to work as a team. Quarrels they'd had in previous cities were almost non-existent. They started to forgive, comfort, and encourage each other. Actually, it was one of our better legs. We were working well together. We didn't argue much. And we thought, we still feel that we were one of the strongest competitors, one of the strongest teams. But, you know, that's what happens when, uh, you know, you make a mistake. For this couple, one little detail altered the result. Sean and Amy, together with the Aussies, put down their backpacks to carry the trees. That decision turned the race into the duel between them. You're team number five. Still alive and kicking? Just, man, just. I'm sorry okay. to tell you that you haven't eliminated from the race. Okay. So we made one mistake in that entire leg, and we went from first to last. So that was really tough. It was a pleasure meeting them, and, uh, you know, it's sad that they've left. But, yeah. Adios. <laughs> In the next episode of The Amazing Race China Rush, teams leave Taiyan and move to their next location. Okay. <laughs> Over there, the challenges are rather tricky. Some have fun, while the rest just get frustrated. And it took like one hour, one hour to do these things. <coughs> Exhausting tasks push most of the teams to their limits. You want to search for something again? It's not who we are, we don't give up. The money, please listen to me. How much effort do they need to expend for what they're seeking? Can they push past the physical boundaries and finish the tasks? And how far do they need to travel to the final pit stop? To find out, do not miss the next episode. Wow! Through this short preview of the new episode, you may have already noticed that the next city has a totally different style from the previous ones. Do you want to know which city it is? Stay tuned, the new episode of China Rush is coming right up. To help you keep pace with our amazing contestants, you have three other times to enjoy the Rush Hour. Tomorrow at 0.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. and next Saturday at 1 p.m. I'm Bai Xu Xu. See you then.